And when we reached the floor levels, we started finding these panels in their original location, which none of us expected to find. I mean, this was really a complete and absolute surprise that we would find. We found the first two um, on, I remember, on a Thursday. And then on a Friday, we found another two. And then, uh, on, and then that subsequent day, we found another three. And it just kept on going, just line of hieroglyphic panels, one after the other after the other. And they weren't all the same. Some of them were organized, the, 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 they, they were 12 glyphs in a certain format, and others had images on them. There were some that had, it, you know, the one that's like this, this one here in front of me is a, is a, is a, is a, is a figure of, that's on a th sitting on a throne looking at some tribute that he's receiving. Yeah, there are some really tantalizing clues from these new blocks here about La Corona's connections to other places. Um, but those are kind of mysterious still. Uh, we have a record on one of the blocks back here of a uh, war, a conquest, probably by La Corona against another king, another site. We don't know where that is. Um, he's shown seated on a throne with tribute all around him. So it was a war. And then they're showing kind of the result of that war. They're showing all these heaps of, of tribute that are coming in, I think, to La Corona. Um, so La Corona was an active military uh, player on the landscape. That's something that wasn't really clear before. Uh, the piece that just came out of the ground about half an hour ago uh, also records a war, although we don't know if that's a La Corona war against some other place. That's still mysterious, but um, there is definitely a military theme going on here. There's also a, a record of a capture of someone on one of these blocks by a Kalak Mool King. So uh, teasing apart this history, figuring out what's La Corona, what's Kalak Mool, how these two sites really connect with each other is, well, it's one of the big research questions of the entire project. And it, it, even before the project, it was really a, a question on the forefront of a lot of epigraphers' minds as to how that connection really worked. Images that we're used to seeing on ceramics, perhaps, not on stone. And we just didn't know what the next one was going to be when we, when we started uncovering these. It just was one after the other, all these wonderful images of these different, obviously important figures in La Corona's history, or in classic Maya history, as we're finding out now, one after the other after the other, in a, in a, in a line that had been that had been left undisturbed, even after basically the looters treated this building as if it was a World War I trench. You know, they just dug this thing out completely. So it was an amazing for us moment to realize that these guys, having missed this particular line, gave us the opportunity to actually find these pieces in their original location.